Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about using the Device Hub to print with Acumatica. And why do I need to do that? If I go into a particular shipment, for example, and I need to print, I can go into my menu and print my pick list. It's displayed on the screen, and then I can click print, where I'm given my print screen, which is specific to each web browser, each one is different, and then I can click on print. And that's fine, there's a few steps to doing it, but I can get the job done. But if we go back to process screens like this, what if I have a bunch of them that I wanna print out? I need to open up every single one and print them all out, I could select a bunch of them and it would give me a long report which would print out and that's fine too, I can do that. But what if I have processes that I'm scheduling in the background? I put a scheduler in here to automatically do things on a scheduled time. If they automatically happen in the background, then who's to hit the print button? It can't be done. And we're just talking about printing the pick list, but what about the shipment confirmation, the packing slip? What about printing out the label? There's many different forms that need to be printed automatically through the process of my workflows. And what if I'm using a handheld scanner? I'm using a handheld scanner, I'm not gonna navigate through the menus there and select a print button. Things need to happen on the fly. So that's why Acumatica created the Device Hub. It allows you to connect Acumatica to a printer directly without having to preview the report form, clicking print, previewing it again with all the options to print out, and then hit the print button. Instead, you can configure all your reports and the specific printers they're supposed to go to. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to install the device manager and show you how to configure it. And then we're going to show how it works. The first thing we need to do is install the device manager. Now, you can install it on any Windows PC, any PC that's going to be operational all the time. And to do that, we run the Acumatica install wizard. So you can download this from the community and click on products there. We'll select next. And over here, this is for installing Acumatica sites. We don't want to do that. We want to install just the device hub. Now that it's done, we'll click Finish, and then we'll launch it. To do that, you'll click on your Start button, and just start typing Acumatica, and you'll see the Device Hub there. Now, when you run the Device Hub, it's always a good idea to run it in Administrator mode. This way, it has access to your local system and everything it needs in terms of resources. So now, the first thing we see when the configuration screen comes up is what's our device hub ID? So Acumatic allows us to have many different, let's call it print servers. In the old days, we'd call it a print server. So for this particular server, it happens to be a PC, and the printers that are attached to it, this is gonna be device hub, I'm just gonna make it 01. And then you could see enable scale support, enable scanner support. The device hub does do other things. We're just going to talk about printers today. Under connection, here's where we need to put the URL. So if we go back and we grab our URL, we'll paste it here. We'll put in our credentials. You then have the tenant field. Now, your tenant can be found in Acumatic. If we go to tenant, we go to tenant list, you could see the list of tenants. We need to take this tenant name and we would normally bring it over here and fill it in. However, if there's only one tenant, which there is here, we leave this field blank. If we don't, 
the device hub gets a little cranky and it will not connect. So those of you trying to connect the device hub and having difficulty, leave this field blank if you only have one tenant. Then we'll go over to printers. So over here in printers, we'll click add and it asks for a name. This is the name we're gonna see inside Acumatica so that we can reference it later. So keep in mind that under the configuration, we have this device hub 01. So you may have many different device hubs throughout your organization. You may have different ones broken out by building. You may have different ones broken out, maybe multiples in different departments throughout your buildings. So based on that, device hub 01 with a certain printer, I could put in here, for example, HP LaserJet, but there may also be opportunities to put in HP LaserJet and maybe Northeast or Department Finance, for example. So after we pick the name, we then select our printer. These are all the local devices I have on this server or local PC. So again, this is a print server. So I'm gonna select this printer. Then I have the option to choose different settings, such as the paper size, the paper bin, the orientation. In some cases, certain printers may require raw mode where you're just sending over the job and you're not letting Windows interfere with the print job. But keep in mind, all of these different preferences, I can leave this to the default, that's what I'm gonna do here, but I can add additional printers and choose different options. And later, when I'm in Acumatica and I'm driving different reports to these different device up printers, I can choose them based on the name. I could choose them with these different preferences in mind. So now we'll click OK. And you can see the device hub as connected. Now we'll go into Acumatica and we'll load printers. And here I can click on update printer list. Once I do that, many times I have to refresh the page. But once I've done that, you can see Acumatica has now, because it's communicated with the device hub, it recognizes that we have one printer set up. Here you can change the default number of copies. Notice that. And now we can start to use this. Now, if we go back to process shipments, now if I just refresh my page, you'll notice a new option here, print with the device hub. So what this allows us to do, instead of going in and printing, printing to a preview page, and then selecting print and printing all it manually, from here, we could send it directly to the device hub in the background. As I mentioned before, this is a screen that could be scheduled. So if we do this, maybe we run this every five minutes, maybe every hour, this will send all the pick lists to a printer in the warehouse so that the warehouse workers, the pickers, can simply grab the latest sheet of paper from the printer. Now there's two options here. One of them is, again, the print with device hub. The other one is to define the printer manually. If we check that off, we can then select one of our Acumatica device hub printers. But if we don't check it, then where does it get the printer from? Well, if we go into our preferences, so under sales order preferences, there's preferences for every different area where the device hub is used. You're going to look for mail and printing. And what you see here that you wouldn't see if the device hub is not enabled is this default printer. Now you can see all your different report forms here. Now for pick list, you have the ability in addition to changing the email account and all that to change this printer. So if we select our HP LaserJet and save it, go back to process shipments, we can check off the print that we're looking for and click process. Now, if we go back to the device hub, you'll notice that we have a print job status. It was updated. And in Acumatica, we also have a printing queue. We call it print jobs.
And here you can see there's nothing here because we have the checkbox hide processed selected. But if we uncheck it, you'll notice our latest print job is here and the time and date stamp, and this just occurred. Additionally, here you have the option to reprint or even preview. And that could be very helpful. If we go back, notice I didn't just, notice I can use it for other areas in Acumatica. So that extends to your pick, pack, and ship, where you've configured your shipping label and your packing slip to go out alongside when you do your confirmed shipment. Under Acumatica, you can also select My Profile and choose your default printer under Print Settings. So here we can choose the actual printer we want as a default. Additionally, you can also define your different printers and reports here and maybe choose a different printer for a different delivery method and that kind of thing. So that's it. That's how to set up the device hub for printing. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please click the like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.